Astronomers recently studied a bustling star cluster called G333.23-0.06 using powerful telescopes in Chile. They found that this cluster is giving birth to groups of stars, not just one at a time, but in batches of three, four, and even five stars together. This discovery supports what scientists have long believed, that stars often form together in groups rather than alone. Using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or in short, ALMA, telescope, astronomers observed 30 regions where stars are forming and focused on the start cluster. They found several groups of stars being born together, like four pairs of stars, a group of three stars, one with four stars, and even one with five stars. This observation matches what computer models of star formation have predicted. Before this discovery, it was hard to observe multiple star births because of the dusty clouds where stars form. But Alma's ability to see through these clouds helped astronomers get a clear picture of this crowded star cluster. While the study doesn't tell us much about how these stars behave, we know that stars in crowded areas like this can affect each other's movements due to gravity. Also, multiple star systems can have planets around them, some possibly in zones where life could exist. The images from ALMA also show that these young stars don't have disks of dust and gas around them, which is usually seen in star formation, suggesting they're forming differently through a process called core fragmentation. These observations also indicate that these groups of stars form very early in the process of cloud collapse. However, more studies of other star clusters are needed to confirm this. In the future, astronomers plan to study more star clusters to get a better understanding of how stars like these are born. Some of these clusters are even younger than this one, which could provide more clues about early star formation.